stop the press, I make another video. Since actually there was all another video planned for today. But since I watched yesterday the uh, second presidential debate and I found it actually really hilarious. I mean, really kind of entertaining. Not that, I mean, I would believe anything they say there. But I found it quite funny and I actually watched it three times now. Like one time the full debate, one time on a channel called Louder with Crowder, where they had like really funny comments on it. And I think they got drunk actually, but doesn't matter. So I decided quickly to take a video about it. Hope it won't get that long, but I really want to go through the points which they mentioned there. Of course, as I said, I don't believe anything they say, but just under the assumption they would do what they say there, I want to have a look at it. So, what was the first question? And even, that's something different today, I have some notes on the tank so I don't forget any question. So the first one was, if there are positive and appropriate behavior showing during that campaign. I mean, regardless of who of those two, uh, simple question, simple answer, no. Hmm. Nice bike. But anyway, what did they say about it? I mean, Clinton just said, well, we're the good ones and I will be president for everyone. And Trump basically dodged the question with his usual phrase, let's make America great again. Um, well, if you answer everything with that phrase, uh, not really good idea. So the second one was already a bit more interesting. Of course, it was about, come on, go. It was about the video of Trump which emerged where he said, like, what was it, 11 years ago or so, um, his infamous words, what he calls locker room talk, where he said, rapper by the pussy. All right, so pretty bad. I mean, I agree, you don't say that. Not even in between guys. No, I, I just think that's basically wrong. But anyway, uh, what did they have to say about it? Well, pretty much nothing. So bullshitting, not getting to topic and so on. So let's view it from a slightly different point, which is uh, of course, obviously, this video shows how bad Trump treats women or how bad he is for women's rights and so on. So let's focus on that point, what they have shown so far. I mean, for Trump, I'm pretty sure this was not a single occasion only. So when it comes to women, uh, I'm pretty sure he's not a nice guy. So how about Clinton then? Well, she covered up her husband's alleged rapes and even started off, I think, it was starting off her career or at least early in her career, uh, defending a alleged rapist and getting him of the charges, laughing about the victim, which back in the time was 12 years old. 
So, well, she is not an appropriate candidate neither when it comes to women's rights. But anyway, so no points there. Ah, I forgot actually to, to mention I will have some kind of point system there. So whenever someone has, in my opinion, good argument or winning argument, this person will score a point. And in the end, obviously, we'll count who, in my opinion, is the winner. I'm not telling you yet, but... I have a pretty clear opinion on it already. So what was the next question? The infamous deleted emails of Hillary. Alright, so what had the candidates to say there? Well, Trump said if he becomes president he wants to investigate that. Getting even a special investigation on it. And her points were basically, uh, that's all not true, no emails got leaked, no nothing. I mean, if that would be true, how come then WikiLeaks published those emails? I mean, if, they, if Hillary's claims would be true and she didn't get hacked, Okay, then she forwarded the emails to WikiLeaks on purpose or what? So basically that's not true. And even one, one point where I really have to say Trump got me on that one. Of course, it, she said basically, so it's good you're not in charge. And what was his reply? Yeah, true, because then you would be in jail. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. He got, he got so much right there. I mean, everyone else for what she did would be in jail. And so basically the point there goes to Trump, 100%. Next one, Obamacare. And I have to say there, as a disclaimer up front, I have no idea how the... something dropped. Hmm. Anyway, I have no idea how exactly the healthcare system works in the US. But anyway, let's have a look at it. And first, let's have a chance to move to the left. All right. So, what Clinton said, I'm gonna fix it. She even mentioned some measures how she's going to do that, but either I didn't really get her measures or she didn't really say anything about it. And what did Trump say? He basically said he's going to revoke it completely or change it completely. So basically nothing too good from both sides neither. I mean, no, not nothing too good. As I said, I'm not familiar with how the healthcare system works in the United States. But Trump mentioned one important thing where at least, at least I would give him half a point on it when he said he's going to change it in a way. And again, I'm, I'm just saying let's assume they really do what after they get elected what they claim before. So he said he will make sure that even those who cannot afford taking care of themselves are being taken care of. So basically, I assume it's then a kind of state-financed healthcare system, which I find a really good thing, of course. Well, if you're in the not nice situation that you don't have sufficient funds, Hmm. They're not. 
then at least you should still get access to healthcare. Okay, so let's move on to the question about Islamophobia and what we can do about it and so on and so forth. Well, what did Trump say there? Muslims should report each other when they see anything suspicious and so on. Mm, well, I might have a point there, okay. But I don't like that approach. But in my opinion, he said another important thing there. Of course, he wants to force back illegals or criminal immigrants to their home country and yes that is exactly what you should do even if he didn't mention how he's going to do that and that might be actually pretty tough to do it but it's a good approach so and what had Hillary to say basically the same Muslims should be our ears and eyes, so they should watch out for other Muslims and most probably report them as well. She didn't say that, but most probably that's the idea. And then out of sudden she switched from the topic to the Russian aggression, which, well, is kind of her thing, like, yeah, bad Russians. So pretty tough to decide here. I mean, pretty sure not for, for Clinton, but point for Trump, uh, mm, not really, but at least for, for his idea pushing, uh, forcing illegals back to their home country. Okay, let's say half a point at least. And what was the next question? Well, the next question was uh, where he wants to go. That's my next question. Ah, he wants to park there. All right, that's fine. So next question was if it's acceptable for politicians to be two-faced. Um, well, they went off topic, both of them, and didn't really say anything about it but to be clear here uh, are you aware of any politicians who are not double-faced so I would say basically no points for no one there and my opinion sh is it acceptable not really but Unfortunately, most politicians are 